My name's Todd Cordy. We just wrapped up an incredible week right here on the Belize Aggressor 4 in Belize. We had a photo workshop and a GoPro video workshop where we had 20 divers who taught workshops on how to understand light underwater, uh, frame rate, resolution, settings, camera settings. The progression that we saw with the divers throughout the week was unbelievable. We had some great shark action and some dives that I'll never forget. We had an amazing time right here on this boat. Let me show you what it was all about. Belize is wall diving. The first half of your dive is along the wall and the last half is in shallow water with coral heads, grass, and sandy areas. Here are some of the dive sites we dove on the Belize Aggressor 4. So we always started out along the wall and then we moved up to the shallow areas. The walls were full of color. Beautiful sponges, huge gorgonians, a small life, a big life. The shallow areas were typically around 35 to 45 feet of water and had tons of options for wide and macro shots. This particular trip was a combination of a photo workshop and GoPro video workshop. Mike hit up the photography side of things while I hit up the GoPro video side of the trip. I taught shots that are easy to shoot, hold the attention of your viewer, and are also easy to edit. These include fly through, aquarium, leave your camera behind, slow motion, and 3D shots. I was always there to help you in the water, to help find the shots and show you how to take the shots. Even this morning, uh, Todd was down there. Uh, we were searching for stuff and he's showing me the techniques that we had talked about, especially yesterday when we were doing three, uh, 3D views of uh, objects down in the water. I really like the little trips and ticks, trips with the GoPro, the, you know, the lead behind and Get the jawfish and the fly eels, through. the fly throughs. The 3D. Yeah. It's a great way to look. We've been taking pictures under the water for a long time, and it was a great way to look at it in a different way. It kind of made the ocean seem a little bit different for us this time, which was awesome. Yeah. GoPro camera settings are extremely easy with this underwater video guide I made with custom QR codes. These codes hold the camera settings you need and they're very easy to use. This thing was so cool because all you do is underwater, you hold your GoPro up to whatever you want to switch to and it would it give you a red check to tell you that it switched to that. So you can go from the 2K, 2.7K 60 frames per second to the slow motion just by focusing the, the GoPro on that QR code. Amazing, super helpful and easy to use. All right, so we just got back from that last dive and it was a lot of fun. The dive master brought a spear for the lionfish and the grouper and the shark. To them, that means a free meal. So they follow us all around and some of the sharks got really, really close. It was really cool. We got a lot of video and photos. Everyone's like super excited because if you're afraid of sharks, you probably wouldn't be after this because you can see they were just like right next to us, all around us and nobody got hurt. Let me show you what it looks like. It's a lot of fun. The sharks will get really close because they're looking for a lionfish kill. This was really fun for us all because we could get great photos and great video and get really close to a predator of the ocean that most people are really scared of. These sharks are really friendly. As you can see, they just go right in between us and uh, it's just a lot of fun. Not only were the sharks a lot of fun, but so were the tarpon. The tarpon would get really close and at nighttime because of our video lights they would get super close to eat the small fish. It made for an incredible experience that a lot of us will never forget. The night dive one was really really good in Belize. Uh, there was a lot of familiar species, a lot of life that we were all looking for that we found. Uh, it was a lot of fun. We'll have more GoPro workshops like this one uh, and more trips to Belize. Look in the description below. I'll constantly update the, uh, the trip info uh, down below so you can find out when you can book a trip that's similar to this.
Congratulations to Lee Duckwall for winning Portrait and Wide Angle for the week. Captain's Choice Award goes to Kevin Hurst. Congratulations, Kevin. Best Video Award goes to Hank for this peacock flounder. Does a nice little spin move. Uh, the nice thing about this fish is you can control the behavior by keeping your distance and Hank really nailed this. You can see the camouflage print and if you want to get the blue rings to come out on a peacock flounder, you slowly approach them and the rings will, will pop in. You can see right there the blue rings flying away. Nicely done, Hank. Rob stole the Most Improved Videographer of the Week award with this stunning video. Rob went from not even being able to, to turn on the GoPro to nailing this shot at the end of the week. The composition is amazing. Uh, he listened to everyone, he practiced, and he got this leave your camera behind shot with these jawfish, and it's beautiful. Congratulations, Rob. We're really excited about what, uh, what's been happening this week with the results we're getting from the divers. Um, We've seen a big improvement throughout the week, and it's, it's really exciting to see uh, them come back into the boat and have these great shots. <laughs> I mean, um, we have some most improved uh, photographers and divers, and the results from the first week to the end of the week were just like, are you kidding me? <laughs> kind of jealous on some of these shots. They were like, just spot on, perfect. Um, but it's been a great week, and um, if you're interested in doing these kind of liveaboards with us and learning how to shoot video um, with the GoPro, come with me and uh, we'll, we'll jump in the water. I'll tell you the settings, the techniques to use to get great shots. And, um, and you too can uh, learn how to savor the moments underwater and have something to share with your friends.